cool. Okay, I will show you guys how to download, uh, install, and run the graph node locally. One note is you cannot do this on Windows, so you have to either, I mean, either be running Mac, Mac, Linux, or if you're on Windows, you can use Windows Subsystem Linux, and that's what I'm doing. Oh, whatever. Um, but I'm running it on. I have like Ubuntu installed with that. So uh, starting here, um, Graph Protocol. They have a quick README here, and then if you want more in-depth instructions, you can go here. But for now, we are just gonna go to the uh, front-facing README. You can also do this on using Docker, um, but I'm not going to be doing that. So if that's what you're looking for, don't watch this video. So first you'll need to install Rust. So let's see the Linux install is here, which I already have Rust, so it'll be quick. Done. IPFS come here, click on whatever OS you have, install all this, which I already have that too. There we go. And then lastly, you'll also need to install Postgres, which that's the more tricky one, but uh, this is, uh, I'll link this in the description, but this is a good tutorial that I found for Ubuntu. So first you want to make sure that all of your dependencies are up to date. Now it's going to download them and then here we can install. If anything needs to be installed, okay, cool. And then here is the Postgres install command. I already have it installed. Let's see. And then, okay, so now we have all our dependencies installed. Let's see, yeah, this is the instructions here. So, I'm going to go over to our terminal with IPFS running. So it says IPFS init, and you'll do this once when you first install it, which I already have, so it's not going to. And then you can run IPFS daemon and that is what's going to spin up IPFS locally and you can see here this is like the how you would get to it this is the, the port that it's running on so 5001 we'll need that later um, alright now let's get IPFS going if you've installed IPFS on Unix I don't believe you need to do this command and then this command right here is to start the service, which doesn't work on Unix, but you can use this other command. Okay, All right, we just have to use the sudo command. Okay, if you need to, you can also go like this. Restart. Okay. Now we have that. Um, then you can use this command. And since I already have this uh, database, it's not going to do anything. So, a couple other things with Postgres that we'll need to do. Um, so, to get into Postgres command line, at least on my operating system. I have to run this command. And then I can type in psql. So here you can do backslash l and see all the databases that you have. So my user created graph node, so I, I'm the owner of that. And we will need that later when we 
configure our cargo command. And this you can see uh, the users. Um, we want to make sure that our user has these three privileges and you can do that. with this command okay so you can use this command you have to change these things I'm just making my password password and then the user should be like the user that you're logged into on whatever system you're on. Mm. You'd use double quotes for this. Uh. Okay, single quotes. And since this role is already created, it's not going to do anything. And if you have that, you can search up like how to add roles PostgreSQL. So this is the command to alter roles once you have created your user if you don't see those three roles just like that and then you can go and check Oops. okay I have the roles that I need list of databases in my own graph node okay so you can exit out of this that should be good now here it says on Ubuntu I'll need these packages and again you might run into I already have them you might run into problems building the graph node and if it says like note you need this installed then you're just gonna have to look it up and install that okay now we want to configure our cargo run command okay uh, here okay so this is where I'm gonna edit the cargo command so we can see IPFS 127 okay we already have that running over here so we're good with that um, okay Postgres this is this isn't tricky but you just have to make sure you get this right so in my case dmelo owns graph node my password I just have it set to password it's on port 542 we can check that going back into postgres um, you can just run con info okay backslash connection info Boom, Postgres right now, 5432, that's the default port. And this is the database that we created, graph node. Okay, the last thing we need is our RPC. So I'm going to be running on mainnet. And then we want a semicolon and then our API key. So I'm going to have to blur this out, but... And also, if you're running a graph node, Alchemy is usually the best because they have the highest, like, uh, daily request or compute limit. You want to cut the HTTP key? Okay. So this should be all set to run. Come to okay. Let's get all these up, and we will need another one.
Alright. So I'm going to go into graph node. Cool. Do get pull. Alright. You're up to date with this. paste our command and this will build the graph node which I've already done so everything should work but it can take a while when you're first building it and they might have changed some of the files on that last git pull so we'll see what happens but while that's happening we can navigate into our subgraph So a couple things that you want to make sure you have set. So we're, we're using like uh, npm run commands. You could type it all out in your command line, but it's faster this way. So I'll show you a couple things in that file. OK, so here, these are the normal commands once you have like your subgraph good enough to deploy it to the studio. Um, you should be able to deploy it locally once our node spins up. So, kind of, you'll see once this spins up, I'll show you how, where you find this. But, this would be the command to create it locally, which will push it to the graph node. And then, the other command that you want to use is deploy local. So you're going to specify the node port and the IPFS port, which we've already set over here. Um, I have debug turned on, oh wait, that's the f my fork command. You, you can look up, well, so another thing that you can do is fork a subgraph that's already synced up but then had an error so that you don't have to like wait another three days for it to get to that point if it takes a while to sync. You can find that video on the graphs YouTube. Fork. Here. So this shouldn't be too hard to find, but this video will show you how to do that. And that is what this command is for. Hello, everybody. My name. If you want to see my notes for this, I'll have it linked below. But you could come to our database, or our, sorry, our repository where we are building out all these subgraphs. So it's under Masari subgraphs. You can look at the docs mapping.md. And I have we have some notes here about running it locally. Okay, it finally spun up. So, you can, well, I can left click and it, it'll like pause the screen from always updating so I scroll up. It takes me to the bottom. It so runs in the background, but then you can look at the logs. So, um, I was talking about earlier over here. I know this port right here because, where is it, it says here, so you want to look for the JSON RPC server, not sure if yours will be 8020, but that's a minus. So now, I already had one deployed. And it has an error in it, but I'll, I'll do it again. Okay, so npm run 
create local, you always have to do this first. You can see it. Picked it up. npm run deploy. Version doesn't really matter. So I picked it up, it's running, boom I had an error, I can left click and look at the error, try and fix it, create the play again. And uh, if you keep developing and you keep needing to push, this is a lot faster. Another cool thing, you can query in your web browser by clicking on this URL.